Back with you for another video, and today's video is all about the new Gentleman Givenchy. You're also going to have a chance at winning one of two samples of Gentleman Givenchy coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button below so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And we do do some awesome giveaways here, and uh, so I hope you uh, click that bell icon and subscribe. So yes, today's video is all about the new Gentleman Givenchy, this right here. And uh, I've been very, very curious about this, and it's been out for about two weeks now. And uh, I picked up a, a bottle about a week ago and have been wearing it and testing it out. And uh, I'm going to tell you all about it, but a little details about this release. Um, it's 2017 launch, as I said, it's Eau de Toilette Concentration. 100 ml like this is retailing for $89. There is a 50 ml bottle also for $65. And the perfumers that worked on this are Olivier Cresp and Nathalie Lorson. And Givenchy is part of LVMH, Louis Vuitton, Moet and Hennessy Corporation, which also owns, of course, Louis Vuitton. Uh, and Moet and Hennessy and, of course, Dior. And they, they just recently purchased MFK, Maison Francis Kirkjan, and they also own Loewe, the, the Spanish retailer that also has fragrances. And um, they also own Aqua de Parma. Those are some of the brands I know they own. All the information for this fragrance I got from the Givenchy website. And um, as I was comparing Fragrantica with Givenchy and the notes didn't match, so I made sure to just mention the notes from the Givenchy website. This is considered a woody floral fougere. So, I don't really get much of a fougere myself, but um, maybe it's because uh, they call it a fougere because of the lavender note and the patchouli. But for notes, they have at the top pear, uh, heart, they've got orris and lavender, and the base, leather and patchouli. So very, very simple. On Fragrantica, there was a mention of a pineapple note. Uh, when I read the, the reviews there, I kind of get influenced. So I wanted to make sure not to read those uh, reviews or people's uh, reactions to this fragrance um, because I just want to make sure I am as upfront about a fragrance and no other uh, review has influenced me and that's another reason why I'm, I rarely watch other reviewers especially if I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that someone else has reviewed so I just want to make sure to be upfront with everyone that I'm not ever influenced by anybody's reviews Anyway, that's why I don't, I don't read any reviews and I, I decided to just put the, the, the notes from the Givenchy website and they're completely different as I said. No pineapple note listed. But obviously with this one there's pear listed at the top and pear was listed on Fragrantica too but the pineapple note really threw me off. So, um, But the pear is very prominent here. It plays a major role and it does really uh, come into play at the top. It's all about the pear. But, what I'm getting with this fragrance is another imitation, uh, inspiration, or whatever from Dior Homme. I think that's kind of what I pick up because um, the orris in the heart, which is basically the root of the iris uh, flower, is pretty big. Um, it's a, a creamy, of course. It's a little creamy, but it's slightly powdery. And it reminds me of like the Dior Homme line. It's a different take on the Dior Homme line. It's a, um, whereas a lot of people are, you know, a lot of brands get inspired by Bleu de Chanel. I think it's one of the most popular men's fragrances. Here, the inspiration, I think, comes from the Dior own line of fragrances. I mean, that's my opinion. I'm not sure how true that is. But when you smell this, it kind of it has that similarity. Like, it does a little bit smell like Dior own. Uh, it's not identical, though. So at the top, you got the pear. Uh, the pear is pretty big, and you do pick it up. And for someone who does not like pear, I mean, it's, it's one of the um, fruits that I'm not really into. And some people say, oh, I love the way pears smell. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, pears, they have a smell, yes, but they're kind of like the poor man's apple. I just, I love apples, period. And pears are kind of like the, you know, they're just kind of like faint. They don't, they don't have much of a smell, but let alone a ta taste. Although I do like uh, cooked pears. But here the pear is playing a pretty big role and it does come into play but it's in the background it's not like a dominant like it's not like a heavy pear it's very very soft and just exactly like a pear it is usually very very soft so um in the in the heart notes that that orris is pretty big 
with the lavender, although Oris is much bigger than the lavender here. I don't pick up a lot of the lavender, although it does come into play, but not as big as the Oris and the heart. So, um, so Oris is here, it's pad. This is where you're starting to think like, okay, yeah, this is kind of similar to Ohm, Dior Ohm, or perhaps even the Prada Loam, I think it, that has kind of similarities to that uh, fragrance as well. And then as it's drying down, it's a, you know, leathery, it's patchouli, which I normally do love those fragrances, but here it, the fragrance just becomes very redundant. The other, the, the negative of this fragrance is there's something metallic in here that is turning me off. I don't know where that's coming from. Perhaps it's a pear, but it's pretty obvious at the top. Um, I guess it's maybe the syntheticness of the fragrance and the notes to, to create this fragrance kind of is synthetic. It just comes off kind of a bit sharp and metallic, which I totally despised. Um, so that's a negative. But for someone that has so many different fragrances that are kind of like inspired by Dior Homme, there's Dior Homme, of course, there's the La, uh, Prada Lome, there's the Loewe 001 Man that kind of has the similarities, although that doesn't use Iris, I think, in the note, or Oris. For me, then, this is a, a very, very repetitive or redundant uh, release. It's, it's not... Um, um, I would, it's not anything like I'm like really excited about to wear, so it's pretty basic. Um, they kind of have been, you know, redoing this whole gentleman thing uh, since 1974. The original came out in 1974, and it's nothing, nothing, nothing like what this is. And there was a few, several releases prior to this that were also, um, it's Givenchy Gentleman, but now they've kind of reversed it. It's become Gentleman Givenchy. It's the new gentleman, they say. The ad ad campaign is uh, calling for or, or saying, so they've been playing on this gentleman thing for the longest time, but now they've just kind of like not become original. Whereas the original in 1974, when it was launched, was very very original, powerhouse, slightly animalic patchouli kind of a scent, which I I, I adored at the time. But you know, I was I was a young kid. I smelled it from uh, uncles and. Um, uh, dad, um, it's nothing like what this is. Even the previous releases of the Gentleman series, the only one I have is Gentleman uh, Absolute, which I kind of like, but it kind of was similar to Spice um, Bomb from, um, what do you call it, uh, Victor and Rolf. So it didn't really wow me too much. But here, it's just like no originality whatsoever. It's just a very, very redundant and um, boring scent. I mean, I love Dior Homme, don't get me uh, wrong. I love that style of fragrance. Whereas with Prada's Loam, it was really, really beautiful. I love that take on that whole Dior line, Dior Homme line. Whereas here, uh, it just kind of falls flat. It doesn't, it doesn't wow me. I think the best thing about this fragrance is the bottle so far. And if I didn't have the previous fragrances like Dior Homme and the Prada Loam and uh, the Loewe 001 Man, uh, I'd probably be like, wow, this is great, because it's, it's not a bad release, it's, it's, it's pretty decent. And if that metallic uh, touch to it, or the synthetic sharp metallic touch to it, didn't come off uh, from this fragrance, I'd be all over it. But since I already have similar fragrances, and I already uh, wear them as much, this just kind of becomes kind of a boring redundant release, unfortunately. That's too bad because I was really, really counting on something really, really beautiful and original, but once again, it's inspired from Dior Homme. Again, this is all only my opinion and it feels like it's inspired from Dior Homme because it kind of does smell a little bit like it. So, um, but I could totally be wrong. I'm not really sure if that's what they were going for. So. The notes are changed a little, of course. I haven't seen pear in a fragrance for quite some time, so that's kind of original. But as I was saying, I'm not the biggest fan of pears to begin with, so it doesn't wow me there either. So, unfortunately, it's a bummer. For me, the best thing about it is the bottle. Um, I love the bottle. It's, it's um, classy, but uh, not over the top. It's just very simple, minimalist uh, writing or text or whatever, and uh, I mean, I like it. But uh, the box also is quite nice. It's a very uh, matte finish. And uh, I, mean, I just love the branding and packaging for this a lot. And I had to grab it. Just very, very 
classy. I mean, it's just like targeted to the gentleman. It just screams gentleman. But I just wish the the scent itself screamed gentleman as well because unfortunately it doesn't. It's a very, very young, 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 young gentleman if there is such a thing here. The other thing I want to mention is it's been such a long time that I've really like spoke to people and said, oh my God, I'm wearing a, a Givenchy fragrance. It, 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 I haven't. Um, the last great fragrance that I picked up from Givenchy was a vintage, well, I don't know if you would call it vintage. It was a mid nineties release called Insense. Um, really, really beautiful scent. But since then I picked up the Givenchy Gentleman Absolute and I thought it was just okay. And here I was expecting a lot and it, it, it doesn't deliver. So I haven't really picked up anything from this brand. I mean, I, I'm, I haven't said to people, go get Givenchy. It's, it's, a, it's a brand that's kind of like not wowing, if that makes sense. The Givenchy also does uh, have a collection of higher priced, like private blend, Tom Ford's private blend collection that, that are somewhat really cool. And um, they have them at, Nor um, not Nordstrom's, but Bloomingdale's here where this is exclusive to currently. So they do have those, but those are also kind of like redundant to me. They like, they've been done already by other brands. So something about the brand just is not calling me. So it's a bummer, but I want to love this brand because there's that original uh, Givenchy gentleman that was just wow, but nothing since um, Insense has really wowed me. I mean, there could be one or two, but still I don't have it, so I don't remember but there could be something that I'm missing, but the last great release that I have from this brand is called Insense. So anyway, that's my take on Gentleman Givenchy. Now, what do you guys think of this release? Do you like it? Have you tried it? Are you curious to try it? Um, or do you not like it? And what is your favorite Givenchy fragrance currently? Let me know those so we can get a conversation started. And if you wanna participate in the two samples giveaway of uh, Gentleman Givenchy, please put your comment down below and let me know what is your favorite uh, fruit since we have pear in here? Let me know that. So uh, oh, please put that down and also please put down your state. This is only USA. I'll be sending the samples and make sure I can see your subscriptions. Otherwise you won't qualify. All right. Thanks guys. Let me know what you think about this release or any Givenchy releases. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.